Thank you. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechView Snoop. And today I am going to show you a real world example of a attack, of a hacking attack. And um, this goes into ransomware and some other nasty stuff. Now as far as this goes, I'm going to show you the red flags and then I'm going to tell you how to uh, mostly prevent it with the rest of flags, but how to fix the problem afterwards. And a lot of people probably don't like the solution, but it is what it is. So as far as this goes, you can read it, um, feel free. But as far as that, this goes, this is the attack in itself. Um, well, the actual file is, but this is the attack itself. It's the vector of uh, passing the uh, attack, the virus. So basically, there are several red flags on here, and, and for those of you who don't know how to read English, which is cool, it's an international channel, but knows how to um, hear someone talk, say it, which there's actually quite a few people like that. Well, basically, this is a attack where the person acts as a recruiter from Google and send in a file, said, check this out, details will be in the file, yada, 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 go from there. Well, there is a few problems here. First off, the person that used an actual recruiter, so they did the did their homework, and um, the phone number is part of the uh, Google recruiter, but it's, um, I forgot what state it is part of. But the email, I, I don't know, I can't get heads or tails on one way or another. But the weird thing is, is why do they have that email? and then some other email up towards the top. Trying to look this up, I couldn't really find anything. And then even furthermore, why would they use a, um, a, a uh, third party to send the stuff? It, it would make no sense. So it's a couple of red flags there. And unfortunately, these things are easy to miss. So why is it easy to miss well most people are not trained to look at these small things uh basically what happens is is if you're in the field that i'm in it especially in security and, and dealing with this you will notice these red flags almost immediately and if you're not in the field you are not paranoid and you're going to get hurt on this um, the odd thing is, is in the real world and um, outside of IT, if you're paranoid, then you're not sane. But if you are paranoid in IT, then you're sane. And in fact, if you're not paranoid in IT, then you're not sane and you're going to get hurt in this. And uh, this is an actual example. So what's the time to be paranoid versus not? Well, say if a family member or some trusted source, an actual trusted source, actually sent something, yeah, it might be worthwhile if there's a download. But otherwise, you need to question it. And for this, I'm, I'm going to show you what happens in a, um, in a sandbox environment. So, going into here, uh, after you download the thing, it's a zip. And it's just a Word document. You'd be like, all right, but there's probably not going to be a virus attached to a Word document. In real reality, there is. I already ran it, so it done its thing and restarted it to see the extent of it. And it's actually not that bad, but I'm not going to try to lower the, uh, the risk on this. But anyways, um, open it up. It starts its thing if you have the thing enabled. That's my set. And basically, what would end up happening is originally a thing to enable content. So it's, it tells you right here and it tries to look as official as possible. And uh, this is one thing that uh, a lot of attacks will have is how to look official as possible. It's actually quite interesting. They went through the extent of that, but they didn't try to uh, look official as possible with their email the email address but anyways um, in fact if <laughs> if it wasn't for that um, and a few other things I'd probably be messed over but um, with that um, now, now one thing I want to mention 
is if you're using an antivirus system like Avast or some others, uh, there's a chance it could fail on you, but there's also a pretty good chance that it will catch it before it infects your system, so note that. Um, as far as it happening to other operating systems, uh, Macs, Linux, so on, it can happen on all of them. It can happen on Android, it can happen on Macs, it can happen on... It can even happen on Linux. It can happen on iOS devices if you unlock it. For Androids, how that would happen is if you download the actual file and execute it and um, the phone is unlocked in itself. Um, how Android and the phone and the iOS, the iPhones, iPads work is everything is, is in a sandbox environment. So it, nothing theoretically could affect something else. It, it's possible, but theoretically it shouldn't. So what would end up happening is with iPhones and, and Androids, if you unlock that, that's where the risk really comes to play. There's ways around it on both systems, but it's much harder, and uh, you wouldn't get affected by something like this if it's not... Uh, but I'm not saying run that crap because, who knows, um, you can be infected without knowing it and can be a keylogger. So with this, um, what would end up happening is um, you would probably notice that these would show up on the computer itself. If you go to, let's say, uh, here, you notice it's there, it's there, and same thing going out through and it I think it changed the actual uh, file type too so in fact yeah yeah it did because of that last little bit and it's easily this one's is pretty freaking weak so I can tell you I can reverse this but the average person would not be able to um, since this is a sandbox environment, this uh, this VM is, was actually made just to show you this example and to test this file. I, I, I'm just going to delete the entire VM because there's no point in me reversing this. But um, what would end up happening in the real world if you were to execute it yourself for this particular one, the uh, th th that would happen. Now, what, what it wants you to do is go through the steps and this is where the ransom part comes in play okay they lock down your files and stuff so everything is in a hostage situation the files are the hostages and they want money or something in return in order for them to be unlocked now the question is 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 um will they actually unlock it and will they leave any residue on the computer or uh, is there undetectable residue on the computer and that's a big thing to keep in mind so with this even if you paid them and they unlocked it maybe in a month or two this happens again because they left residue on the computer or they infected the computer by some other method maybe a keylogger or something else and for those of you who don't know what keyloggers are, it's basically a um, program, it's, it's malware, that tracks any keys that you type. So it sees passwords and usernames and all the other stuff, bank statements and all that. So with that, the um, you don't know. There's no way of knowing. So there's really two ways. After you can affect it, there's really two ways to fix this. And the first is to um, restore. So this is the importance of having backups. And you need to restore to a trusted time. And saying a week before this may not be the answer. Like for this, it can literally wait it for a week or two or even more before it started this crap. But one half, fortunately, because I'm able to give you an example, Unfortunately, the other hand, the uh, this actually um, affected it immediately when it was triggered. So, what happens is is you don't know when the actual true trusted time is. 
unless if it affects it immediately. So because most likely unless it affects it immediately, you won't even know what happened. So with this, um, what needs to happen is you need to restore, if you don't know when to trust the time is, restore back for the more. And if you don't have any restore dates at all, then you need to format the entire computer. This is why it's important to have backups not only in a physical location, but things like Dropbox, Google Drive, and things of this nature. You need to have your backups, your pictures, and stuff backed up there because you can easily restore it after you um, you you get infected. And also, you can restore the stuff if you're going from computer to computer. It's like the same experience it's going across. So with that, those are the only real methods on how to uh, fix this. Uh, now, again, a way if you don't trust a given file or you're not sure about it, because again, paranoia is healthy in this environment. The more paranoid you are, the healthier you are in, in this aspect. Uh, not trusting centers and files that you get and testing it out to the stream so if you are not sure a way to quickly test it is by putting it in a sandbox environment like this vm where i have a its own instance of windows running and its own stuff to open up the file and see what happens and oh it has a problem so now i can just delete the vm since i know what that is and i can just mark their address for spam and probably anything that comes from that um, third party service as spam so it basically kills that off right there and then so with that um in fact one extra thing i'll, I'll probably do on my end is uh report it to the actual person the actual recruiter saying hey there's people out there doing this and you may want to take a look into this and a lot of time they will especially if it's their name on the line because it is their name on the line in some instance even though they were, didn't directly have any part of this other people they might associate their name with this type of attack which is negative it reflects negative and that's um that's bad so with this um if you got any questions or anything, leave that down there in the comment section, and I'll try to answer it as quickly as possible. But um, if you like this video, and if it's helped you out understanding this stuff, and what to look for, and what to do, and, and, and especially since it's a real-world example of who thought a Word document can hold so much of a problem for the entire computer. Because a lot of people, they'll look at the executable files, the EXEs, and the batch files, and fewer things, and they'll say, okay, I should be paranoid about them. But they look at the text files, the Word documents, pictures, and things of that nature. And they, they don't really think about it because it's not really considered as a executable to most people. Whereas, um, they'll just open that up, and boom, they will get a major problem. And that's the truth of the matter. You got to be paranoid about everything that comes in, unfortunately. And um, yeah. Uh, oh, uh, there is one other solution. I don't, I can't back this up from personal experience, but I've heard this enough times to say it that uh, Chromebook may be an option because if you have something like this, it's an easy wipe and reload type of thing. I, I don't, I never messed with a Chromebook before, so I, I can't say that for 100%, but I've heard it so many times that it, it might be true. And I've heard it from enough credible sources that it might be true. So that, that might be also a uh, possible solution is to uh, give people who don't need to have all this other stuff, just give them a Chromebook or whatever. And, um, and as far as why certain people will get infected, well, keep in mind, you have a lot of people who are not trained to look at small things like the email address itself and the 
um, how consistent things are across the board. And that's pretty important because uh, there's been hospitals that have been attacked and a few other things that's been attacked because of this, because they are not trained in these things. And it's not a, um, I wouldn't say it's too much of a negative thing because I prefer to be trained in surgery or whatever their profession is versus this. But um, that's why. And that's why if you have a good IT admin for a company, the overall admin system, system admins that uh, heads everything, if you got a good one, they could prevent it easily from you uh, as a user who may or may not know about this stuff from even downloading it and executing it in the first place or being able to back up stuff and uh, flip a switch type of thing. But anyways, as far as that goes, again, this has been Craig Bent, founder of Tech Views Nope. Leave a like, subscribe, and share. And give your experience down below if you have one. But have a good day.